Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Madeline and I create knitting content here on YouTube. Today I wanted to make a quick video showing how I divide my yarn for two at a time knitting. I'm going to be using this bulky weight yarn in my next video where I show two at a time mittens. So be sure to subscribe if you want to be notified when that one comes out. I picked up this yarn at a trunk show at a local yarn shop here in Philadelphia. The colorway name is Wild Laurel and it's a bulky weight so there are 106 yards on the skein. Now that I've shown you the yarn that I'm using, I'm going to show you how I wind up the yarn. So I wind up my yarn for two at a time knitting using a swift, a ball winder, and a scale. I have an Amish style swift that my dad made me out of leftover hardwood flooring and I love this style of swift. The nice thing is that it collapses down so it's really easy to store. And down below in the description box, I'll link to some examples of the swift and the ball winder I have. So if you're interested, check those out down below. So the first thing I do is set up my yarn on the swift and thread it into the ball winder. And what I'm actually gonna do here first is I'm gonna wind the entire skein. So I don't attempt to weigh the ball winder as I'm going along and just figure out where half is the first time through. I find it's easier to wind the entire ball and then go back and divide it into two. There is a method if you're interested where you could take just the spindle off the ball winder, weigh that first without any yarn on it, then wind half the yarn, or approximately half, onto the spindle and weigh that as you go along, just removing that each time you need to weigh it and subtracting off the original weight of the spindle. I just don't do it that way because I just prefer the straightforward winding the whole thing and then dividing it. So now I'm gonna continue winding the full skein and then when I'm finished, I'll come back and show you the next step. Now that I've finished winding the full skein, I'm going to take it off of my ball winder and I'm going to move my yarn swift out of the way because that's the end of what I need the yarn swift for. And I'm also going to grab my scale because for this next part I'm going to need to weigh the yarn. I'm going to put my scale inside of the bowl that I'm going to be using to hold the yarn so that it doesn't roll around all over the floor. I've also found if you don't have a bowl, the other things that work well is like a sturdy paper bag. Or you can also use like a big Tupperware bin. Both of those I found also work really well. And I always make sure that my scale is set to grams because that's the weight that the yarn is given in. And the starting weight for this yarn is around 105 or 106 grams. So now I'm gonna set up my ball winder and wind off approximately half of that. And you will see that the ball of yarn will start moving all over the place, but that's all right. Whenever I wanna check the weight when I think it's just about halfway, I just place it back on the scale. I've now divided the yarn into two because there's half of the weight left on the scale. So now all I have to do is cut my yarn and now I have two equally sized skeins of yarn, which I can use for two at a time knitting. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to keep an eye out for that two at a time mitten video coming up soon. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.